गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द न्यू कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड नो दैट इज टू डायमेंशनल स्ट्रेस सिस्टम एंड थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रेस सिस्टम सो व्हाट इज मीन बाय टू डायमेंशनल स्ट्रेस सिस्टम एंड थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रेस सिस्टम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी टुडे ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज मीन बाय स्ट्रेन व्हाट इज मीन बाय स्ट्रेस ओके सो नाउ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन when body is subjected with various type of dimensions okay so first here you can see this is two dimensional diagram okay that is a b c d okay and in this body diagram it's subjected with the two stresses that is in x direction if you are going to consider horizontal direction is x direction and vertical direction is y direction so if body is subjected with these two dimensions x and y we are going to consider here along the x the stress is going to pull stress is going to apply as a sigma 1 and sigma 1 and along this body the vertical stress is going to apply the six, uh, sigma 2 and sigma 2 here you can see sigma 1 we called a normal stress in x direction and sigma 2 normal stress in a y direction so here we are going to study that what happen when two dimensional body is subjected with the different type of two stress system so what the kind of relationship between the stress and strain okay so if you can see this next slide here the stress sigma will produce due to this the sigma 1 due to this stress the strain is going to produce already we have seen last lecture there are uh, various types of strains that is longitudinal strain and the lateral strain what is longitudinal strain when the strain is developed okay along the direction of stress so here in the x direction there will be the longitudinal strain and along with this sigma 1 this side lateral side the body is if you are going to stretch this body it, this side okay if you are going to pull this body automatically this dimension is going to reduce okay so effect of sigma 1 into the y direction so that there is also strain going to develop as a strain is called as a lateral strain already we have seen the strain is going to apply along the direction the strain which you are going to calculate along the direction of load that is called as a longitudinal strain and the strain which you are going to consider perpendicular to the length okay that a lot of uh, action that is called as a lateral strain okay so here you can see the stress sigma 1 will produce the strain in the direction of x and also in y direction so here the strain in the direction of x will be called as a longitudinal strain okay you can see here along the x okay so along the length we are going to consider so that stress that strain is called as a longitudinal strain okay and will be equal to strain is equal to this why because already we have studied the ratio which ratio we get young's modulus that x modulus e is equal to stress divided by strain now if i want to get the value of strain i am going to take this into this side and this e into this side so here i can write this e is equal to that is strain is equal to stress divided by angs modulus okay so this thing i have written here here we have we have considering the consider the stress produced by the sigma 1 so here we are going to write sigma 1 so that's thing we have written here so where are the strain in the direction y is called as a lateral strain okay so understand the difference between what is mean by longitudinal strain and what is mean by lateral strain a lateral strain will be here minus mu into sigma 1 divided by e why here we have to use this formula because you people know the formula or we have seen the formula of poisson's ratio and what is formula of poisson's ratio or definition of poisson's ratio poisson's ratio the the ratio of lateral strain okay lateral strain to the longitudinal strain so lateral strain to the longitudinal strain this is ratio called as a poisson's ratio okay 
So lateral strain to the longitudinal strain that is why it's called as a mu. Now, if I want to get the value of lateral strain, I have to multiply this mu, okay, with longitudinal strain. So here you can see here this lateral strain I have written. Lateral strain is equal to mu into longitudinal strain. And why we have taken here sub value minus because whatever the direction, whatever the changes in lateral strain, the opposite changes we are going to consider the longitudinal strain or vice versa. If longitudinal strain is going to increase in that case, lateral strain is going to reduce. And when lateral strain is going to increase, longitudinal strain is going to reduce. That's why we are going to use here opposite sign. That's why we are considering here minus sign. Okay. Now next, this is this formula we have used due to the strain produced by a sigma 1, this due to this. Now we have to consider the strain produced by sigma 2. So sigma 2 stress is here and due to this now along this direction, along the load direction, whatever strain we are going to calculate, that strain is called as a longitudinal strain because along the load line or stress line. Okay, so here the stress sigma 2 will be produced the strain in the direction of y and in the direction of x the strain in the direction of y will be longitudinal strain now you can see in the direction of y this strain now we are going to call it as a longitudinal strain and other direction strain we are going to call it as a lateral strain okay so same way here we are going to calculate the strain longitudinal strain so longitudinal strain formula instead of now we are calculating here now strain in the direction of sigma 2 so that's why the longitudinal strain here sigma 2 by e okay whereas strain in the x direction with the lateral strain and lateral strain here you can write like this lateral strain mu into this and what is this what is this this is nothing but a longitudinal strain so same formula we have written okay now let consider e1 and e2 are the strains in the direction of x and y respectively in the body so how to get value of e1 so now the total strain the total strain in the direction of x due to the stresses we can write here sigma 1 and sigma 2 so i can write here sigma 1 by e minus mu into sigma 2 okay so this is total strain in the direction of x x direction see see what happened in this x x direction which the forces we have considered we consider e1 by e okay due to the due to the stress of line this direction this is in longitudinal direction lateral direction what happened here we have considered mu into sigma 2 by e okay so total strain developed in the body due to this x due to this sigma 1 in the x direction so that we can write like this so here same thing we have written here right and now strain direction in x direction only we have calculated now similarly the strain in the direction of y due to the stress sigma 1 and sigma 2 is here this and this okay this is longitudinal strain and this is lateral strain and we can write here the strain in the body e1 is this and total strain in the body in the direction of y we can write this okay and the about here you can see the about two equations give the stress and strain relationship already i have told you here we are calculating the system of uh, strain and stress relationship we have to establish so we have established the relationship here uh, 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 strain in the direction of x and strain in the direction of y and which thing we required here we have considered the poisons ratio here we have considered the stresses okay for the two dimensional stress system in the above equation the tensile stresses is taken to positive as the compression stresses we have considered negative so this is about the two dimensional stress system okay next lecture we are going to see the three dimensional stress system okay so today we are going to stop here